it's a new 2K out. Another year to make some moves. Another year for drama. Another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate, they all can. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. The Root Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the basics. He gon' teach you how to win, he, he gon' touch, touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the ball in the fourth, LeBron James. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause you know your boy's gonna always keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. I know y'all start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got the notification bell unlocked? Come to the comment section, type first, second, third. Know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love y'all much love much respect so by now y'all know the nba 2k league event was last night and i ain't gonna front with y'all this might be one of the most frustrating ordeals your boy been involved with for a while now these randoms and i'm sure a lot of y'all could attest might be worse than the randoms in the wreck than the randoms in the park than the randoms in the theater these might be the worst randoms i've ever seen because now they think that they get a shot at getting into the 2k league that's a bar i told y'all the mix they coming soon man i could just do it with ease the bars but anyways anyways we're not talking about that we're not talking about that right now but i had a few games the best game i had because i because it was very difficult for certain positions to get in for example if you go with a point guard it was very it took a lot longer to find a game so me i got in with my point guard to begin with then after a while i got tired and just switched out to my kd bill and then i had to compromise and letting someone who don't have the ability of a point guard like your boy run the run the field and it was just frustrating looking at this point guard missing wide open people and not taking the right shots. I'm like, bro, what is going on? Now, eventually, with all my frustrating after two games, because the game was, the game, it took a while, man. I actually did it live on stream. I actually switched back to my point guard and got some better games in. And this time, I'm not going to compromise again on that position. Unless you go point guard, unless I'm, I'm going point guard or center, I'm not taking no part in this event but anyways this is not about me we're talking about the game itself now one thing i noticed that happened to me was a player started standing out of bounds and i start getting violations i know if you run with randoms you will know the frustration of this ordeal and i want to know who was it in 2k that came up with this idea mike wayne hopefully it isn't you mike wayne hopefully it wasn't you now this was actually tweeted out to me um by that's hondo he at Bruluba at Bruce cement shakedown he said so randoms can stand out of bounds and troll in the wreck and there's nothing no one can do about it i know if you play the game you've seen this happen and you've had this happen to you or you might be the person that is the troll but i can't even blame you because 2k gave you that weapon and it's frustrating it's annoying because there's really no like you're not gonna get graded out that fast if you do this violation i play with someone and they did it damn near the entire game from the beginning to the end and they did not get graded out they do not give you a big enough hit on your grade whenever you decide to troll like this step out of bounds now if they were giving your grade a big hit it would make some sense but because you barely get any hit on your grade you could damn near drag this out as long as possible and i don't see the purpose of it to be quite honest why did you add a violation like this to the game was it for sometimes you know um, i'm playing sometimes my wife like yo hold your daughter a few seconds and what i used to do is jab my stick in the corner lean it up somewhere so it's jammed and my player could run while my teammates continue to beat the next team was it to stop stuff like this because i don't see the point clearly it wasn't to stop trolls from after the tie to play with you they're just gonna jam their sticks and just not gonna play defense because this doesn't help the other players at all so why why did y'all add this to the game 2k y'all gotta do better man y'all gotta do something about this 
because this got to get removed from the game as quick as possible. It's annoying and it's high risk to run with randoms. Because even if they start pissing me off, I might decide to do this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might be tempted to do this. Let's go stand out of box. Yo, they're passing brute the ball. Cause you know they don't pass, like to pass the ball with randoms. I might. I might. And I don't like trolling people, but just because it's there, why not? Let it fly. Shout out to my guy, Chris Move. Why not? But anyways, anyways, let me know what y'all think about that. Two kid definitely gotta do something about that issue. Now shout out to my guy J Flex21 underscore world or J Flex21. He actually tweeted at NBA2K at Baluba and tagged your boy. He said, Can you please do something about these broken making a beats quest? Game freezes when selecting my beats. Fix the daily pickup. Yes, those daily pickups need to be addressed, man. I ain't gonna lie. Earlier in the year, they took my money and I went back and, and uh, my team ones that I selected and I ain't got no rewards. So 2K, y'all owe me some VCs. Not a lot, but I still want every VC I could get in this game. All right. All right. So he's talking about fixing that and the daily beats as well so i do agree with you hopefully someone sees this video my g and they move forward with some progression now we gotta talk about this as well bd chapel tweet at your boy and at Baluba. we need to do something about the overall performance meter you should be penalized for quitting too many people quitting to keep the meter from decreasing Ain't no way I should feel worried when playing with a GOAT status player than a baller or a hooper. And this is something they need to look at as well. People get rewarded for quitting. We always wonder why people quit out before the game, right before the end of the game. Now, now, shout out to 2K for the team that's winning. They actually give you the rewards now. So that's a great move in the right direction. Now, all you need to do is stop punishing people for certain things. Like if you play a great game, man, especially if you were randoms, and still have a great game, and you take that L, you should not take a huge hit on that meter. You should not. Especially if you run randoms, I think they need to start adjusting it based on scenarios and not just a blanket. Now, again, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know how difficult it will be to implement the stuff that I am asking them to do. But I am telling y'all, y'all might have to start working towards that direction if you all want a fair game, a well, you know, well played game. Anyways, let's continue on. Now, 2K made this post here. This is just a gentle reminder for a lot of people. A lot of people hit me up about this NBA League Pass thing. Now, that post is an important reminder for those that got the Championship Edition. Redeem your NBA League Pass code now. Now, the, according to this, it seems like you only will be able to redeem it by December 31st. After that, it will expire. And if you haven't received yours as yet, check in the spam folder that's where i had to go to find mine or if you haven't received it at all y'all might have to hit up 2k support to and somehow ask them about it man for real hit up 2k support i'm sure they will take care of it y'all so anyways man that's all i got for y'all let me know what y'all think about the video let me know what y'all think about the info let me know what y'all think about the stands and how was y'all experience playing that event was it as horrible as mine I know it was rough out there, man. Running with five randoms is... Whew, I don't know how some of y'all do it a lot. I do it sometimes, but I need at least one decent teammate for me to run with randoms. If I got to do it alone, I got to go in there with the center. It's tough out there, man. But anyways, y'all, have a blessed one. Till next time, be safe out there, y'all. Peace.